The FDA and CDC could approve Moderna's and Johnson & Johnson's COVID vaccine boosters as early as this week. In the case of Johnson & Johnson, an extra shot for any adult after just two months. Now, the panel did not vote today on whether or not to recommend mixing and matching vaccine and booster brands, but it seems like that might be on the horizon. So bottom line, boosters for all vaccines. Winter is coming again, and federal health officials are trying to beat back a fourth wave of COVID-19 while anticipating the possibility of yet another surge. I'm Lauren Gardner, and I cover the FDA for Politico. Today, we're talking about the split that's emerged among federal officials and some outside scientific advisors with respect to whether and how to boost the American public. 34.4% of Americans who are eligible to be vaccinated against COVID-19 have yet to do so. Top federal health officials say that it should be rolled out now to as many people as possible. But some scientists who work within agencies like the Drug Administration and the CDC who crunch these numbers, they've suggested the data isn't quite there yet for such a widespread rollout. The majority of Americans who were fully vaccinated with the Pfizer vaccine are now able to receive the booster shot six months after they've received their second shot. President Biden really tried to make the case for Americans who are fully vaccinated and are eligible right now to go get their booster shots. The vaccines are still performing really well when it comes to preventing hospitalization and death. So there was some criticism there that the president put the cart before the horse, so to speak, on signaling where he was going to go on boosters before the science was really there and evaluated and fully vetted. It doesn't look like boosters are going to be put back in the fridge. I want to be clear. We will not boost our way out of this pandemic. Much of the rest of the world has yet to get their initial vaccination series. Vaccination requirements should not be another issue that divides us. That's why we continue to battle the misinformation that's out there. When it comes to mandates for who needs to get certain vaccines, that's usually left to the state. Gavin Newsom said he's going to require children in California to get vaccinated against COVID once the vaccines are fully approved for kids. And then on the other extreme, you have governors like Ron Santos in Florida, who are adamantly against any sort of vaccine mandates. So you're seeing a big swing of how governors are handling this. It tends to be along party lines. There's been some reluctance to require people to get vaccinated, especially when it comes to younger people, when the vaccines aren't fully approved by the FDA. They're still available under emergency authorization. We don't like to be telling people what they need to do with regard to vaccines, but we know that mandates work. While the specifics of how these boosters are given out to people when it comes to the different brands, the fact that they're already so widely available likely means that boosters are going to become even more widely available to the broader public as we look to figure out who needs to be boosted now, how do you do it by brand, do you do it by brand, can you mix and match? some of these outstanding questions that have yet to be fully answered.